We're told, suppose, suppose a plus b is equal to 2a. Which of these expressions equals b minus a? All right, I encourage you to pause the video and see if you can figure that out. Which of these expressions would be equal to b minus a? And, and it's going to just involve some, some algebraic manipulation. All right, let's, let's work through this together. So we are told, we are told that a plus b is equal to 2a. So the first thing I would want to do is get all my a's in one place. And one way I could do that is I could subtract a from both sides. So if I subtract a from both sides, I am going to be left with just a b on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, I'm going to be left with 2a minus a. Well, that's just going to be a. If I have two of something and I subtract one of them, take away one of them, I'm going to have just one of those something. It's going to be equal to 1a. So we want to figure out what b minus a is. Well, luckily, I can figure that out if I subtract a from both sides. So if I subtract a from both sides, well, then I'm going to get, on the left-hand side, b minus a, which is what we want to figure out, is equal to a minus a is equal to 0. So b minus a is equal to 0, which is not one of the choices. All right, so let's, let's see if we can if we can figure out some other things over here. So b minus a is equal to 0, but that is not one of the choices. All right, so let's see. Is there other, any other way to manipulate this? No, b minus, if I, I could just go straight ahead and subtract 2a from both sides, and I would get b minus a is equal to 0. Oh, this is interesting. This is a tricky one. So b minus a is 0. Well, if b minus a is equal to 0, then if we take the negative of both sides of this, if we take the negative of both sides, so if we multiply both sides by negative 1, so times, I should write, I should write the times, I should write like this. All right, because we don't want to confuse it with the variable x. So if we multiply both sides by negative 1, what do we get? Well, on the left-hand side, we get a minus b. And on the right-hand side, we still get 0. If b minus a is 0, then the negative of it, which is a minus b, is also going to be equal to 0. And that's this choice. That is, let me do that a little darker color. That is this choice right over there. That was, that was a good one.